Hi, this is Macy, and Macy has is on IV fluids, and she's a quirky cross, and her veins were really hard to get the catheter in. This is an IV catheter, and it goes into the plastic catheter, goes into the vein, and as you can see out here, there's a pump. I'm going in the cage now. There's a pump that's pumping the the fluid from the bag, and the the fluid in the bag has vitamin B which makes it yellow and then it goes in in here it pumps it into Maisie at a certain rate Maisie needs a high rate of fluid pumped into her because Maisie's kidneys are failing Maisie uh, uh, came in about two days ago and she was vomiting and feeling very badly and uh, we did a blood test and her kidneys were failing. We did a urine test and the urine showed some blood. It showed some protein like it does when when the dogs have a urinary infection or a kidney problem, but also showed blood sugar. I mean, oh, sorry, the urine showed sugar in the urine. So I looked at the lab test that showed the, and the blood work and it didn't show any uh, diabetes or high blood sugar. Dogs never have sugar in the urine hardly unless they have diabetes. So as you saw Macy came in vomiting when I did the uh, check of her blood work you can see her she's got a low blood red blood cell count she's a little anemic and her kidney enzymes which is her BUN, which is a measure of her kidney, is very high. And you can see that by the little arrow, it's off the scale. Her creatinine couldn't even measure it was so high. Her phosphorus is high, and they're all measures of kidney failure. So what we did is we, we uh, diluted. Well, first of all, I checked her urine, too. There is sugar in her urine. She's not diabetic. I'll show you that in a minute. There's only two things that cause sugar in the urine when a dog isn't diabetic, and one's a Fanconi-type syndrome. If they have a normal blood glucose, blood sugar, but they spill sugar in the urine. It could be genetic. Some dogs are predisposed to this, like Basinji's, or it can be treats made in China with additives that cause the problems. So we just put fluids just as much as we could as you saw and today uh, her, her, her kidney enzyme has gone from in the two to three hundreds to 180 and her creatinine is inched down to 5.8. So we're just going to keep giving M M Macy fluids until we can see until we see if her kidneys start to work. You can see all the blood work it takes, but uh, there's her blood glucose. And she's not diabetic. You can see it's in the normal range, but she's spilling sugar in her urine. So that's what I was talking about, the Fanconi syndrome. So that's caused by uh, a genetic problem or it can be caused from treats. Be careful. It's there's certain breeds that get it. Corgis aren't really well represented as having Fanconi syndrome. So what what happens is, and you've all seen the recalls. There's certain treats that will cause this, and never pay attention to the package. This is 100% real, wholesome, and delicious chicken jerky, no artificial flavors or colors. So the package can look wonderful. The chicken can look great. It can smell great. It could, I'd eat it. It could taste great. It's just dried chicken. But on the back, it all looks good, but it has a real tiny, tiny, um, sentence right at the end, made in China. 
Now I looked this brand up on the internet and there was about a thousand recalls, a thousand cases, supposed cases of poisoning. Maisie's poison, I think, I can't be sure because we don't know what Maisie's kidneys were like before Maisie came in, but the owner says just over the past few days after feeding chicken jerky treats, Maisie became very ill and is it now in kidney failure. She has sugar in her urine, which is like what we call Fanconi syndrome, but in this case, is may not be a syndrome, may be a caused from the additives that they put in to the chicken jerky or the sprays that they put in when they, when they uh, made it in China. Do not buy treats made in China. Don't buy treats with wheat in them for your dogs because a lot of times that can cause itchy skin and itchy ears and even seizures. Treats are just something you give your dog between meals. You can give them chicken, you can give them a turkey hot dog, you can give them a chicken hot dog, you can give them a carrot, you can give them a meaty bone, you can give them pieces of their kibble, you can give them a sardine. But in this day and age when we are all victims and we're all prisoners of processed food, be careful because it doesn't matter that this has thousands of cases potentially reported and I can't prove that this is the cause. But what I do know is Macy ate some of these and is very sick and has a syndrome that doesn't ever happen unless she is predisposed to this genetic condition or these treats that she's been fed. So you make the decision what you're going to do with your dog and feeding it treats. You better make sure that the treats you feed aren't made in China, don't have a lot of wheat in them and processed stuff in it. Try, buy a better quality uh, USA made treat without grains. Maybe with chicken and vegetables, maybe with the chicken and rice, turkey and rice. There's all kinds of good treats you can buy. There's a lot of homemade treats on the internet now that are made by smaller companies that are trying to provide a real quality treat. Yeah, I'm a little mad because poor Maisie, Macy here may not make it. Her kidneys are slowly coming back. The, the, the level of the kidney enzyme has gone from four or 500 down to uh, 128. Normal kidney enzyme, what we call the BUN, should be about 40. And her owner's devastated, and I don't feel so great either. I can tell you this, that any, any treat made in China, I would question. And maybe if we boycott treats for a while, the treat people will wake up. Have a great day. Now, that's the saddest thing in the world for me. When I talked to the owner of Macy, he's devastated. He's a young man that just loves his dog, and his dog's in critical condition because they happen to buy some treats, chicken jerky treats made in China. This, these chicken jerky treats have been reported to cause 600 illnesses this year, kidney failures, liver failures, sick dogs. And if, you, if 600 cases have been reported, you know it's more than that because not everybody will report these cases. Be careful. What you see on the outside of the bag it's not often what's on the inside of the bag. And you just have to make sure that the treats you buy are from smaller companies like Lacey's Homemade Dog Biscuits. Like smaller companies make dog biscuits. Uh, get dog biscuits with no grain because grains can cause seizures and itchy dogs and ear problems. So I talk about my book, Dog Dish Diet, and why I teach people to make home-cooked food and feed your pet to avoid the vet. This just makes me sick to think that we're all given treats that we think are good and, and they, they have additives that may poison our pets. There's a couple different companies that 
this has been reported in it's in the news all you have to do is google chicken jerky treats and kidney failure in dogs and it'll come up with names like wagon tails milo's kitchen be careful these big companies are making big mistakes they're poisoning our animals maybe if we boycotted treats the companies would wake up learn to make your own treats learn just healthy human food you can give your dog to as a treat you have a great day be careful I know you love your pets like I do.